Hello, my name is Keshwani. S K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here, practicing to take the GRE General Test, the tenth edition. If you do not have this book already, purchase one immediately. This is where you're going to find the real exam to practice for the exam for for the prepare for the test. There are seven exams in this book. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 135. It's a quantitative comparison question, hence the QC notation. And it's going to be question number 7. Let's take a look. Question number 7. Let me draw the picture here. P, Q, R, S, T, and V. And then we are given something in between here. We are told that the square P, Q, R, V and V, R, S, T have sides with a length of 6. So that means P to Q is 6. Q to R is 6, R to S is 6, and so forth. Let me read one more time. It says the squares P, Q, R, V, and V, R, S, T have sides of length 6, which is where I got this from. The question simply is area of the shaded region P, Q, S, P, Q, S, this triangle, how does it compare to 36? Let's take a look at it. Well, there are two ways of, of, of taking care of this problem. I'll do it both ways actually. So, area of, they call it, they call it the area of the shaded region PQS. I'm just going to call it area of triangle PQS. This is your PQS. I'm going to put it up like that. PQS, this area that you see there. It's a triangle. And there are two ways of taking care of it. And we are asked to compare it against 36. Well, one way actually is very simple. Just take the area of the whole rectangle, which is simply, this is 6 and this is 6. So this is 12 times 6. This is from P to S is 12. Length times width, which is 6. And you take a half of it, that's all. So that's what that is. 12 times 6 or half. And of course that boils down to 12 times 3, which is 36. Here we have 36. Another way, could have done, another way we could have done the problem is using this formula of one half. This blasted thing is not good. I'm going to get rid of it. I kept, I kept picking it up, and it was annoying the bloody hell out of me. All right. Another way we could have figured out the area of PQS is by knowing that the area of a triangle is one half base times height. It's therefore one half times base. It doesn't matter which one you call base and which one you call height. So height is 12 if you, or base is 12. If you want to call this base, that's fine. This is your base of the triangle. This is the height or the other way around. If you want to call this base, look at it from here. This is your height times 6. Notice the similar, similarity between, between this right here and this. This boils down to 12 times 6 over 2. Exact same thing as that. You see? That's where, that's where the formula comes from. 1 half base times height. Where does, it, where does it come from? Where does this formula come from? 1 half base times So the answer here is C. Where does the formula 1 half base times height come from for the area of the triangle? Because triangle, any triangle, it's nothing but half a rectangle. If you have a rectangle, half of it, that's your triangle. And how do you find the area of, area of a rectangle? Length times width. And if you take a half of that, that's your triangle. But of course, when one is dealing with triangle, one does not use the terminology of length times width. The convention is that we stop using length times width and we call it base times height. This may be base and that may be height or vice versa, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because they're being multiplied. If the, if the two quantities are being multiplied or if they're being added, the terminology doesn't matter, you can interchange it. 
If they were being divided or subtracted, then of course we would have to worry. But anyway, the answer here is C. In both cases, it is 36. So the answer is C. Because this works out to be 12 times 3, which is 36. In the other column, we have 36. So they are equal. C. Let's do the next problem. Number 8. Let's see what number 8 says. Let me see what the time is right now. I think I'm going to stop at this thing. I don't want to do, do it in a rush. I hope you found this helpful. If you wish to get hold of me to hire my services for personal private tutoring, or if you wish to uh, purchase the solution manuals to any of the problems out of this book, in either case, go to the website at www.preppreppreprep for gre.com and send me an email. All right. Thank you.